so I'm just about to enter Phu Hai Prison, which is the largest one on the island. It was built in 1862 and uh, it covers an area of about 12,000 square meters. Behind these walls were incarcerated a lot of people, but a lot of famous uh, Vietnamese who were the founding fathers of modern day Vietnam. How am I feeling about this? Well, I'm, as I speak to camera now, I've, I've got some emotions welling up. I've lived here for a long time. I'm not French, I'm not American, I'm not Vietnamese, but I have a connection to the country. And so already I feel, I'm, I'm wondering what it was like for these people to be stuck behind these walls and tortured for such a long period of time. This is where I think I think in other in other rooms we'll see mannequins here, but this is where people, prisoners were shackled to, their ankles through here and lined up along this way. Um, I think there's like a wash area over here. I don't know how they washed, if they did. Obviously some kind of container for water, whether it's drinking water or whether they got washed that way, buckets. I'm assuming toilet. Yeah. That's it. And the step. The, the thing that's obviously missing here is now, now that we're standing in here, it's actually cool. There's no smell. There's, a, as you can see, there's great light in here. But the thing that's obviously missing is the perhaps three or four hundred people who were in here in agony, emaciated, sick, and just waiting to die, I guess. It's just very cathedral-like. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Obviously, with the climate, the design of the building was so that it obviously would make things cooler, but I don't think that was necessarily um, calculated so much when, when they were holding people cheek to jowl um, in places like this. But, there is this feeling of kind of like walking into a church for the first time, especially with the sort of that gabled area up the back there with the, with the crosses, the, vent, the ventilation crosses up there as well. So what we've got here looks like what must have been a communal eating area, which to the eye now looks, you know, very organized and clean, doesn't it? But uh, perhaps, it was, perhaps it was put here to make it the place look good, I don't know. But I can't imagine that people, prisoners would have been allowed to walk around freely and sit and eat after what we've seen in the pavilion over there. So uh, yeah, clearly some kind of dining area. 
perhaps for prisoners that were on good behaviour or something like that, I don't know. But just metres away is what looks like solitary confinement. So on one hand, perhaps you had prisoners having a little bit of freedom, but they would have been eating just metres away from solitary confinement where those prisoners would have been yelling out and in agony and being tortured. where uh, Tonduk Tang was held. Uh, imagine the door shut. There's a, there's a window. I've got to take this off, it's so hot. Um, I mean, it's nothing compared to what you know, the prisoners went through here, clearly. It's early in the day, it's only about 8.30 in the morning and already the sun's baking. It's quite cool under here, but obviously conditions here are much cleaner, much nicer. Uh, what's missing is the obviously the misery that went on here from the torture, but also the smell. The smell would have, the stench of the place would have been horrendous. Today, you know, the ocean is only a hundred meters or so from where we're standing so you know you've got the smell of the ocean it's a beautiful day there are coconut trees surrounding the perimeter yet if you were here at the time I don't, I don't know how they felt but you know hell here paradise outside it must have been a massive torment <laughs> Các anh đã thảo ra một bản tường trình trình bày những sự việc trong chuồng cọp và bằng trí nhớ của mình phát thảo ra bức họa đồ để miêu tả về chuồng cọp. Okay, so we've just come from the largest prison in town, it's about 500 metres away, to this one here which uh, they call the French Tiger Cage Prison. You might be able to hear a loudspeaker in the background, that's a large uh, Vietnamese tour group and they're getting a history lesson on what took place here. Uh, for me, I'm travelling by myself so I'm just going to make my way uh, through the door here and follow the path and uh, take a look at what actually happened here or try and get a, an idea of what actually took place in this prison. So let's take a look. I'm up one floor and looking down into the cage as well, what they call the, the French tiger cages. And uh, presumably the guards walked along here and as is depicted with the, with the mannequin up there, they taunted the prisoners. Taunted, tortured, I don't know, like perhaps did everything imaginable to them down there.
have been here is a jailer. Um, Haunting or torturing the prisoners below here. Um, in this bucket here was typically lime, so obviously lime burns skin, and uh, I guess they would jab them with these bamboo poles that had lime on them, or pour pour lime onto them just to burn them as a way of torturing them. Unbelievable. So I think this is what they were referring to as the solarium cells where it didn't have a roof. I'm not sure, but on the wall here there's broken glass. So I'm assuming then there wasn't any kind of roof. Um, you can see little pieces of uh, steel metal that run along the top of the wall. So um, I'm assuming that perhaps there were bars that ran across here. And uh, what, what time is it? It's about midday. And I don't know how many prisoners would have been in here. Quite a few, judging by what we've seen already. Um, and most of them would have been out in the direct sunlight. Sure, I want to go in here. There's no getting out of that. There's no getting out of here, is there?
even now with no one around. I wasn't, I wasn't that keen on walking through there to be honest. So it seems to be some kind of solitary confinement, but I don't know how many they had in there, in each cell. I'm assuming just one, um, but no toilet, just a cell with a window in it. Yeah, all right. Should we go and see what else is around? <laughs> The French tiger cages were, you know, barbaric. Just, it, it's very hard to describe, um, especially the ones with the cage, uh, the bars on the roof and the, uh, the prison officers would throw lime down onto the, onto the prisoners below. Uh, pretty much whatever you can think of in terms of torture probably happened um, in the French uh, tiger cage prison. Uh, the American one, probably not too much better. Um, it was a different feel, of course, um, and a different setup. Their solitary confinement. Uh, when I went there, I, f I was the only person there really, and I felt this sense of foreboding. It was, it was not a pleasant place at all. I need to add though that for any trip to these three prisons at least, there are about 10 on the island. Um, it really should go with a visit to Hangyung Cemetery, which is connected or, to this complex. Um, there are hundreds, perhaps thousands of uh, people buried there. Some of them are unnamed or unknown, some of the graves there. Others are like uh, Voti Sao, um, and Le Hom Phom are buried here as well. And uh, a lot of people who um, were high up in um, modern day Vietnam government and in the military as well. So don't forget to do that. Hang Yung Cemetery is free, um, but perhaps first do these prisons first and then go to the cemetery because that really brings it home to you how, how many people actually suffered here. Um, in the prison, the prisons themselves, you don't really get too much of a sense of, um, you know, how many people went through the system. Um, it's quite clean. It's, you know, it's set up for tourism. Whereas when you go to the cemetery, it's like uh, most war memorials around the world. It's very moving. Um, you get a sense of the numbers of people who, who died at the hands of their colonizers. So um, I'm gonna walk away, have a think about it. And then I'm gonna bring you some more upbeat and fun things on the island to do because uh, the Kondao Islands are not just all doom and gloom.